This video explains the advanced data mapping techniques that support the synchronization operations available in Cameo Data Hub. Data mapping based on attribute values is a technique that allows you to map the artifact types selected on the vendor side to different data types on the consumer side. Let's take a closer look at the data. As you can see, in the sample project, data items are divided into two groups according to artifact type. Each item is represented by a set of attributes. Each attribute holds one or multiple values to select from. The mapping technique we are going to demonstrate is based on the fact that items sharing the same artifact type can have attributes holding different values. These attributes and their values are available on the Cameo Data Hub side and can be used for mapping. Let's select and synchronize part of the data to a model in a modeling tool. The mapping technique based on attribute values is available for all operation types except for create DH trace links. As you already know, several mapping techniques are available to use side by side. So depending on the situation, you can map one part of the data based on the one-to-one -one approach and the other part based on the selected attribute value. To use the advanced data mapping technique, select the source type, then select the Define Target Type from Attribute Value checkbox. As you can see, the same set of values for the selected attribute you have seen on the Doors NG side is available in the Cameo Data Hub Mapping User Interface. Once the attribute and attribute value are set, you can select the target data type on the Modeling Tools side to finish the mapping rule creation. To create one more rule, click the button with a plus sign. Continue defining mapping rules for the selected attribute according to your plan. The process of creating and applying data mapping rules based on attribute values is similar to how email rules work in almost any email management application. Those rules provide the ability to process a received email message based on certain message criteria, such as title, recipient, date, content of the message, and so on. Let's go through the process once again. Begin by selecting the source element, then select the attribute of the source element, the value, and which target element has to be created on the model side. After selecting the target element, select which attributes the target element should have based on the attributes available on the source side. When you finish defining your mapping rules, click OK to initiate data synchronization. When the synchronization process is finished, you can go and check the elements created on the model side. As you can see, model elements are created according to the data mapping rules. For synchronized model elements, each stereotype is applied according to the data mapping rules. This technique allows you to create rules in advance. Even if the current source element is not mapped to the attribute value used in the rule, when the value is set, the rule is applied and the desired stereotype is assigned to the target element. Please contact us if you need more information about this technique or would like to request a live demonstration.